Hi, today I'm going to explain how to start using Plastic SCN Cloud Edition on Mac. I assume you already created your Cloud Edition organization, which is explained on a previous video. Well, the first thing to do is just to go to the downloads and download Cloud Edition, which is a separate one from the regular one because it's, uh, it has different features. You just have to wait for the download to finish, which will take uh, a few seconds, and then you can just start it and init the installation. Now all you have to do is to start the installer and just uh, follow the instructions, which are pretty simple. Just uh, basically click on continue, accept the license agreement, and then you'll be prompted to enter your credentials to install on the Mac, and then everything will be set up correctly. Next thing is just to go to applications, and then you'll see that Mac Plastic is, is going to be there. Just double click to start it as a, any regular application, and then the first time you'll be prompted to enter your cloud credentials. In my case, it's uh, pablo at plasticscn.com, and then my password. Then I can check if I tap it correctly, and I did, and then I'm fine to start. Now I can create my first workspace, but before doing that, I'm going to review the repositories I have. I already have a local repository, which is created by default, but I want to create a new one to host the repo that I'll be downloading for from, uh, from the cloud. So I'll, I'm going to call it Quake Mac. It's going to be on the local server, which is just uh, where the local repos are. I just created it. And then I'll create a workspace for it. So just uh, the defaults, just go there, select it, and the the new directory will be created for me. It's very simple, just in workspaces, which is which will be also created automatically. So I go there, and I switch and open my workspace, which is of course empty by default. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to replicate the repository that's not, that is on my organization on the cloud and put it on my local server. So I'll go to the branch explorer. My repository is empty at this point. Right click, replication, pull this branch. And then on the source server, I'll type my organization, which is plastic SCM at cloud. Obviously here you'll type yours, which is going to be your name and then cloud. You go, you go and browse the remote repository, in my case it's Quake at Plastic SEM at Cloud. I click on OK and then I start replicating. It will grab the metadata first and then OK. When it comes to to actually download the data, you'll need to enter your encryption key, which is a, a shared secret in your organization. Everyone downloading data from the cloud will have to enter it, so it's important that you share exactly the same password or you won't be able to encrypt and decrypt correctly. Okay, you can also choose not to encrypt the data on the cloud, that's an option, but in my case I just uh, set to the repo to be encrypted. So I just enter my credentials, click OK, and the replica starts. And then basically it starts downloading all the metadata and then transferring all the data. Once the pool finishes, the branch explorer is refreshed and now you can continue working normally. You just uh, have your workspace ready to, you know, switch to the branch and start working on it. And well, that's how simple it is to start working on Cloud Edition from Mac.